we always gotta follow the plan and not our feelings. What's the point of life if you're not gonna be happy? my channel it's already around half past two and i've done some things today i basically just cleaned the house but i woke up really late today and i was feeling kind of unmotivated in general like after i was done doing my chores for the day i just didn't want to do anything else and i realized that i shouldn't do that because that's gonna just make me feel worse in the long run i'm also just kind of not feeling okay right now i'm feeling really down and obviously i always try to have like a really happy vibe on my channel because most of the time i am really happy and very grateful for my life but you know everybody has their bad days and in general i'm just feeling a little bit down and a little bit anxious about my youtube channel and stuff like that i decided that i wasn't gonna let my emotions get the best of me because we always gotta follow the plan not our feelings i'm going to try my best to save the rest of my day and also just try and make myself feel a little bit better i just want to reorganize my thoughts maybe journal a bit kind of get a clear vision once again on myself my future and like motivate myself so if you're into that then let's save a half wasted day together So now that I've eaten, I definitely feel way more energized and way more motivated to do some cleaning and organizing. So I already cleaned my bathroom this morning because I had to. But now that everything is dry because I was waiting for the floors to dry my bathroom, I'm going to go put everything back and like just organize my bathroom. And I also have a huge pile of laundry just waiting for me in my closet so i'm gonna also sort out my laundry you guys think anyway i kind of just want to have a chat i've been just feeling really really down the past week or so and i think yesterday especially like i just hit like really big low i was starting to feel very doubtful about youtube i always try to keep it really positive here because it's what i love i love positive vibes i love manifesting my dream life living like my dream self but i have days of doubt and Yesterday it got so bad that I was actually crying on the phone to my boyfriend about my doubts in my YouTube channel and stuff. I cannot tell you how many times I have googled should I quit my YouTube? <laughs> like, should I quit YouTube? Should I just stop now? Stop before I waste any more time? The thing is, I really love YouTube. I wouldn't do it if I didn't love it. For those of you who don't know, I had a huge shift in my content because I used to make unboxing videos. They were fun at first, but they were very miserable <laughs> and very robotic. And I always found that my true enjoyment was when I made my vlog, when I would make like my travel vlogs or like weekly vlogs and daily vlogs 
vlog those vlogs really never got enough views or clicks so i ended up deleting a lot of them i ended up having to delete them because no one really wanted to watch them so i was like fine i'll just stick with this unboxing thing and it got really unbearable last year and it actually got so bad that even the unboxing videos were not getting the amount of views that i wanted to so i was just like what do i do and i eventually just decided to just do what my heart wanted to do i always follow my heart i'm a true believer of doing what makes you happy no matter what what's the point of life if you're not gonna be happy i've been obviously really enjoying this content so much i i've been so consistent like the way i've been so consistent i've never had this type of consistency before i never used to have an upload schedule the fact that i'm uploading every week on a saturday at 3 p.m like i really love my content and i'm not overworking myself at all like i want to do that because i'm just finding so much of joy and enjoyment in doing this i really love my content and i think my content's great i i don't know if that sounds conceited but i love my content i even watch my own videos sometimes like to motivate myself it sucks when you're so passionate about something and you put in so much work into something and it's not getting the appreciation that you expected it to and if i was you know just starting my channel and i was feeling like this obviously i would be like oh but i just started like i don't i don't need to blow up immediately but it's been three years of me doing YouTube. You know, when it's been three years of you doing something and you're not really where you want it to be. I used to like think about it so hard and dream about it so hard and I'm not near that goal that I wanted and that can really make you despondent and really sad. So that's just kind of why I've been feeling down. But anyway, when I was feeling down last night, I, you know, went back to my old journals because I am such a journal girly. Like I have a million journals, like every thought it goes in my journal. I ended up looking at my manifestation journal just as hello kitty book <laughs> i'm a huge fan of scripting because i love journaling so i find written word is just so powerful and i have genuinely manifested so much of stuff writing down so here like I'm, i was trying to manifest like my sephora wish list and then i got to this page and it said ideal self and i turned the page and there was nothing so clearly i was intending to write down what i wanted my ideal self to be but i didn't do it i don't know why and i i guess maybe i wasn't ready at the time or something but it kind of made me have this like epiphany of like even though i'm living every day like as best as i can i still don't feel fully aligned with my higher self and that like realization just blew my mind and i realized i don't even know who i want to be and if i don't know who i want to be how can i possibly imagine a world where i am successful in my youtube because that is what my higher self does right in my head like she's super successful she has like a hundred thousand subscribers and she makes these vlogs gets all these brand deals like that is what i imagine like that's what i want that's what i want you know that's what my higher self would be and what she would do i literally never sat down and wrote it out in detail the point being i'm just not feeling aligned with this highest version of myself and i think i've been seeking that out for so long but i just didn't know what it was i've been feeling like misaligned i've been feeling like i need to align with something but i just didn't know what it was what am i trying to align with and i realized last night that i need to align with my higher self so what i'm gonna do <laughs> is i'm now going to take my little journal and i think i want to sit down and really meditate on this and like imagine it down to the nitty gritty and i'm gonna take my time i think it's gonna make me feel a lot better
this is the final result that I made, which is just so over here I have just like my vision board and then on the side I have a more detailed like list of stuff and I also did do some scripting by myself but I like doing scripting like off camera of course so I made this for now and I really really like it and just like looking at this just motivates me so much so I already feel way better because I did this I already washed my face, but I'll quickly show what I use. So to cleanse up my makeup, I use the this Bobbi cleansing balm. It's from Miniso. Then I use this also from Miniso. It's a cinnamon roll foamy cleanser. I just use like one pump of this to just get off the excess makeup. Since it's exfoliation night, I use the Riedel Shot cleanser. This is like an exfoliating cleanser because it has LHA and PHA in it. And I'm also using the matching um, toner pads. I feel like I mentioned the product so many times, but it's the whole VT Cosmetics like Wheel Shot collection. Yeah, and then I'm using the, the toner pads as well. And then I'm gonna use the uh, actual Wheel Shot Essence. Because I have the 100, you can actually use this every day. And I started off using it twice a week, but now I'm using it four times a week. <laughs> And I think I'm gonna stick with that because I'm still really, I'm really scared of this product. I don't think you guys understand how scary this sounds to me. Like micro needling in a bottle, that sounds pretty scary. So since it's night time, I'm gonna use this from Nambuzin. It's the active soothing serum. This has some nice cinnamide in it. And now I'm gonna use this Innisfree Emulsion. This literally gives you glass skin guys like it gives you such like a nice plump glowy look i love this anyway and then my latest obsession i've actually been nipping a cream like i know people smell with vaseline and stuff and i as someone with oily to combination skin that does not sound like it's for me i had a lot of stories of like girls using nivea cream for slugging and I was like, let's give it a go. And I've been using it for almost a week now. And look at how much I'm using. I'm not even using that much. But I'm using it for almost a week now. And I feel like my skin is way soft. So I have my cup of green tea. It's green tea with jasmine. I'm going to be watching True Beauty. I've been obsessed with the show the past few days. I'm only on episode six. Like I just, I just started episode six, but I saw this show all over my Pinterest, and I know it's also for like the one young some girlies because I know that the author said something about how some aspects were like inspired by one young or whatever. But I know this is for the one young some girlies, and tell me why every time I'm watching this show, I feel like I want to go put makeup on. Like it's so crazy. But I've really been enjoying it. It's actually my first K-drama that I'm watching. And I might watch more K-dramas after this. If you have any recommendations, please let me know. I would love to hear what K-dramas you guys watch. And if you have any good ones to recommend on Netflix. 